Hello friends! And today's video follows on from last week's tutorial about importing a single image. And if you missed it, you can follow the link in the card above or in the description below. So this week I want to show how to import an image sequence. And for those that don't know, an image sequence is just an animation that has been rendered out as a series of numbered images. And the name of these files is important, as we'll go into in a second. But you can get these images from any other animation software, or from OpenToons itself, which can be useful. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. But let me show you how to import the sequence first. So I've created a new project and scene to import the sequence into. So now we can take a look at the files in Explorer. So to be an image sequence, your files have to be named in a very specific way. So here's a folder with six images with valid file names. So first you need a name, and I've got Dwanko, and then a dot, and then a four digit number, and then the file extension, with your images numbered in order. And to import them, you can just drag one of the images into your open scene. And it can be any one of them, so I'll drag image number three, just to show it can be any of them. So click and drag, and then drop it over the viewer area. And after dropping it in, you'll see this pop-up. So if you choose load, it'll load the images from this location each time. So that means if you delete or move the originals, your scene won't be able to reference them. And this could be useful if you intend to keep all of your images together or are rendering them to this location from another software. You can just re-render them and then reload the scene and it'll use the new images. The other option, Import, will copy your images into the Extras folder in your project so that you've got a local copy of them. And then the images can be deleted or edited in the original location and your project won't be affected. It's like taking a snapshot of the images you've got right now and keeping them in the project. So that's what we'll do today, we'll use import. So let me open the project folder first so you can see them arrive. So if you go to where you created your project, step into it, and then into the extras folder. So if I choose import, all six images are recognized as part of the image sequence and are loaded and added to the timeline and as you can see, they're recognized as the equivalent of a single level, so it's shown all together in the level strip. And you can see the copy we've got in the extras folder. So if I simply change the view type to large icons, you can see those images in there, and it's these images that we're now referencing in this scene. So an alternative to dragging and dropping your images is just right-clicking on the timeline and choosing Load Level, and then browse to where your images are. And you'll notice that instead of showing all six files in this browser, it shows just the one, without the numbers and with an extra dot after the name. And this shows that OpenTunes understands that all six images are part of the same image sequence. And the number of frames is shown on the right, so you can check the number of frames that OpenTunes thinks there are in this sequence. And this is a good way to check that OpenTunes understands your sequence. So you just select the file and then press load. And again you'll get the same question about loading or importing. So here we have our image sequence. And that's how a valid image sequence looks and is imported. But sometimes the software that produces the image sequence won't create files with the naming format that we need. Well don't worry, we can deal with that too. And to do that, just go to your browser room to show the browser at the top here. But if you haven't got this room set up, or don't want to use it, you can just open a file browser from the Windows menu. Just open the menu and select File Browser. And then you can use it as a floating window or dock it to the side of one of your rooms. So let's close that. So in the file browser, browse to the folder that has your image sequence in. And let me show you this on disk as well. And to differentiate them from the first set of images, I've made these black and white. 
So you can see in the file browser that these six images are shown as separate files rather than one single entry with the number six shown in the frames column. And that's because they're not named with a name, then the dot, and then a number. But OpenToon still often recognizes that you have a sequence of images. You just need to rename them to the right format for importing. And to do that, you simply right click on any of your images in the sequence, and then choose rename. You can then change the name of the new files. So I'll put dash new, and you can choose to delete the original files if you prefer. And that's what I'll do today. So if I hit rename, if you keep an eye on the files at the bottom right here, you'll see them renamed with my new name of BW Duanco New, and then appended with a four digit image number. Dot triple O one to dot triple O six. And then the file browser, it recognizes these images as an image sequence. So it shows only one entry here and number of frames of six. So now if we go back to the drawing room, I can right click on a frame, choose load level. And then if I browse to that folder, I can choose my black and white Duanco new image sequence showing six frames. I'll press load. And I get the question whether I want to load or import the images and I'll choose import. And if you keep an eye on the explorer view at the top right, you'll see those images added into my extras folder. And again, all six images are added to my timeline and can be seen in the level strip. So finally, I mentioned at the start of this video that you can render out an image sequence from OpenToons. And you can, and it's a really simple thing to do. All you need to do is to go to your output settings in the render menu, choose the frames that you want to render, and I'll choose to render out the first six frames, and then choose the image format to render to, and I'll choose PNG, and then hit render. And you'll notice in my outputs folder, and I'll get six images for those six frames. And if I show the icon view, you'll see the images in the Explorer view. And here's one last tip. You might find it easier to render an image sequence to a folder within your output folder to keep these images separate to any other scene that you render. And to do that, you just add the folder name to the end of the output location. So here, where it says save in, I'm just going to add forward slash Duanco and then hit render. And then you'll see the subfolder created and in there are your six rendered images. And rendering an image sequence from OpenToons can be useful for rendering long scenes where you want to join this scene with another in a video editing program. Or if your render to a video file crashes, you can render your scene in smaller sequences of images. And then if OpenToons crashes partway through, you can see where it got to by seeing the files on disk and then just start another render from that point. But of course, if you're having an issue with crashes, then do make sure you hit save before you start rendering. So there we go, importing and exporting image sequences. Give it a go. And once you get used to the naming of files, you'll find it's pretty simple. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.